Hey guys, this is Doug over at TacticalMeasure.com. Uh, I just wanted to take a little bit of time today to talk to you about how to fix retention on your holster. Um, most holster makers are going to go with a happy medium um, retention-wise um, because we can't suit your individual needs perfectly every time. It just doesn't happen. <laughs> Don't care what anybody says, it just doesn't happen. Um, so we here, we kind of err on the side of caution and we do pick that that happy medium. Um, some of you like your holsters a little tighter, some of them, some of you like them a little looser. Um, it just depends on your individual needs and what you're, what you're doing with it. Um, me personally, I love the happy medium um, on all of my holsters, you know, because it's consistent all the time. Um, so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to fix this um, to meet your individual needs um, using just everyday items in your house. Uh, what you're going to need, you're going to need a set of gloves. Doesn't really matter what kind. Uh, leather work gloves, roping gloves, doesn't matter. Uh, mechanics is what I'll be using today. Um, and if, uh, if you have a woman in your life, chances are she's going to have one of these, which is just your Walmart special hair dryer. Nothing fancy about it. We use a heat gun in the shop, but for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna use this. So, and you'll need your firearm, of course. Make sure it's safe to work with. Um, mag's empty, chamber's clear. Um, and other than that, you'll just need your holster. Um, I'm gonna be working on two today. Um, one is just our standard inside the waistband appendix holster. Easy stuff. Um, the second is going to be our outside the waistband uh, contoured holster. Both fit my gun beautifully. I have these laying around so that's why I'm going to be working on them. So let's start. Close the slide. Put your gloves on of course. Because this stuff does have a tendency to get really hot, um, just don't want you to burn yourself. You know, up here, tougher than I am, cool beans, you don't have to use the gloves. Okay, um, most of the time on this holster, where you're gonna wanna loosen everything up or tighten it, I'm gonna show you both ways, um, is right here in the trigger guard area. Um, if you wanna tighten it, what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat the middle of this trigger guard and just put a slight dimple in it. Doesn't take very long, pretty easy. Um, and if you want to loosen it, we take just a little bit out of under the barrel right here. And like I said, I'm going to show you both ways, so don't worry. And we'll get to it. Okay, so. For the purposes of this video, you know, y'all don't want to see my ugly mug anyways. Um, so what I'm going to do is just kind of focus on working on the holster um, and try to put it where it's easy for y'all to see. So turn the hairdryer all the way up, highest setting, highest heat. And this thing puts out you know, a fair amount of heat. Not quite as much as a, a, a heat gun would, but it'll work fine for that now. So just trying to hover over the trigger guard area until it gets kind of pliable. This may take, you know, a minute or two because, it, as I said, it is not a heat gun. And it does require a little more time, but not much. And then you just kind of, you can put a small dimple. That's all it takes. It's just a small dimple with your index finger right there. 
let it cool for just a second before you try to pull it out or put it back in or whatever you're gonna do. Um, and as you can see, it didn't affect the shape of the holster at all. You know, I kind of kept my hand right here just because it does tend to, you know, pop up a little bit. But like I said, for maybe 30 seconds worth of work, you just saved yourself a week of sending it back to the manufacturer. And it's ready to go as soon as it cools off. So I'm gonna remove the gloves here and we'll go, uh, we'll go directly to checking it out. Now, as you can see, it kind of flays it and then just snaps right back into place. And uh, like I said, for about you know, maybe five minutes worth of me talking and actually doing something, um, the holster's fixed, you know. And you get that nice, you know, nice little pop when you put it into the holster. You know, me personally, I think this is too much retention, but like I said, each to each his own. So, now I'm going to show you how to take a little bit of it out. Um, I'll try not to talk while the hair dryer's on because I'm sure that's just annoying. So, now if we want to loosen it again. Now, for this purpose, I'm going to take the dimple we just put in out, and I'm going to take a little bit out um, from under the barrel and the front of the trigger guard. So, give me just a second. We'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, it's right back to normal. No more dimple, no more nothing. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to, how to take a little bit out, um, should that be what you wanna do. As you can see, there's a little less definition right here under the barrel now. Um, not gonna affect the performance of the holster. Like I said, it just loosens up the retention just a little bit. And as you can see, it's loose again. You know, it's a big difference from the dimple and from normal. And like I said, all this takes maybe 30 seconds to a minute to do. And it saves you quite a lot of time and postage and all that good stuff. So. As you can see, there we go. So let's move on to the outside the waistband holster. Now this is our standard, this is what we like to make, um, and it works very well for, for us, and it works very well for everybody who's had one so far. Um, so here, on this one, we're gonna do kind of the same thing. Um, I always do it on the back of the holster just so it doesn't affect the looks of the front of the holster, you know. Uh, Back of the holster is gonna be what's pressed to you. In my personal preference, I really don't care what the back of the holster looks like. It's all about on the front. Um, so we're gonna to try to do everything we're gonna do on the back of the holster. So again, firearm is clear, no mag. We're gonna throw it right in there and we're gonna kinda of do something pretty much the same as we did last time. We're gonna add the dimple to the trigger guard and then we're gonna pull it out uh, to the trigger guard, and then we're gonna pull it out under the barrel on the back of the holster. So, give me just a second, we'll get going.
just gonna hold that dimple just a little bit just to kind of give you what you want. So um, just let it cool off and that'll increase your retention quite a bit. All right, pull it. Gives you that nice click sound when you put it back in. And again, it took us about 45 seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out and then we're gonna remove a little bit of retention from under the barrel and the front of the trigger guard um, in order to loosen up the retention just a little bit. As you can see, once again, there's a little bit less definition right here under the barrel and the front of the trigger guard. Um, so let's see how she functions. And once again, that's that's pretty loose. Um, some of you like it that way. I, I personally do not. Um, but like I said, to each his own, and all that matters is that you're carrying. So. Well, and that you know how to use it, of course, but... All right. So that pretty much sums it all up. Um, as I said, pretty darn easy. Um, saves you a lot of time, saves you some postage, although postage is, what, $2.36? Um, but it keeps you from being without your holster for a week. Um, some of you have backups and don't mind. More power to you. Send it back to whoever made it they'll fix it and send it back to you, not a problem. Um, but for those of you who don't wanna be without your holster for a week, that's just a quick, easy way um, to fix it without a lot of hassle. Um, hell, you can do it sitting at the dinner table drinking a beer, whatever you wanna do. Um, so from everybody here at Tactical Measure, you know, it's December 23rd, um, about 10.24 a.m. Um, so from all of us to you, Merry Christmas and uh, have a Happy New Year.